Thanks for coming back to the chopping block. Let's take a look at Liberty 50 grain civil defense. They claim it can reach 2,000 feet per second. Is that possible from a handgun? One nine six three. So yeah, you know, if you get attacked by a pack of rabid gophers, this is your load. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> I think I'll pass. Okay, so it met that 2,000 foot per second claim, which is super impressive for a pistol. But the fragments stopped a little short of 4 inches, and the base section only made it to about 10.5 inches. The base also only weighed 28.0 grains by the time it got there, and it was moving sideways, not cutting a whole lot of tissue. So really not all that impressive and not very suitable for defense. But Liberty's website claims that this round will exceed 12 inches in gel. Are they lying? Well, no, they're, they claim that it will exceed 12 inches in clear ballistics gel. Now, Brass Fetcher did a test a while back showing how clear ballistics gel produces penetration results that are deeper than properly prepared 10% natural gelatin. The correlation is really close at normal service pistol velocities, but as velocity increases, the discrepancy between the two also increases. So at magnum pistol velocities, you'll see a little bit deeper penetration, and at rifle velocities, 2,000 feet per second, you'll see significantly deeper penetration in the clear gel than you do in real gelatin. That matters a great deal because the only thing that gelatin is really good at doing is telling us how deeply a projectile would have penetrated in real tissue, how much it would have expanded, how much it would have fragmented, and so on. The appearance of the wound in the gel has nothing to do with the appearance of the wound in actual tissue. We use gelatin to measure penetration expansion, fragmentation, weight retention. It does not simulate a wound. So if the gel they're using doesn't produce accurate penetration results, then the claim doesn't really matter that much either. Again, like all other gimmick ammo, I would pass on this and stick to a good quality, modern jacketed hollow point. There are a lot of great choices out there. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any other suggestions on stuff that you'd like to see me test, again, comment below. If you'd like to help the channel out, head on over to my Facebook page, like us, share the videos on Facebook. That makes a big difference. Gets a lot more exposure for the channel. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you... Motherfucker! How was that hard?